Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the Undervalley from faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Ray. And I'm Caitlin. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fall down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Jean with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Well, I don't think it's fair, because I didn't have my sneeze astamines that day, so I accidentally sneezed and blew down one, two, or three houses. I can't actually remember. Well, as you can tell, he's got a very big nose, so just one little sneeze would blow down the house. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. How do you feel? Who is the big bad wolf, really? Well, it's not me. It's my evil twin sister, uh, P P P P Patricia. Yeah, well, her twin sister is very evil. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more but a dangerous criminal? Well, that's not true. I think you should open a chemist that sells sneeze means to wolves. Sounds like a good idea to me. You don't want to be next. Well, thank you for your time, Mr Wolf. Good luck with your ongoing trial. Back to you in the studio. Now for the news of escaped kidnappers, heart heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our presenter, Jean, was at the book release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the terrible tale. Hi, I'm Jean and with me are Hansel and Gretel. So, you're obviously very rich now after finding all the jewels in the old witch's house. How are you going to spend this money? Candy. Lots and lots of candy. Sounds delicious. Hansel, you're in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Well, I chased the cat around the house a few times and then the cat attacked me. Sounds interesting. So, what have you learnt through this experience? Not to eat our grandma's house. Or she will eat us. Wait, did you say grandma? Well, thank you for your time. Good, good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. Here's our reporter Monty with more. Go on, go on. Thanks, Rayhan. And hello everyone. I'm Monty, here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello, hello and smooches to both of you. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? Absolutely horrible. Her perfume stinks up the house and she's the worst wife I've ever, ever had. And you're the worst husband I've ever, ever had. So, you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is it the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? She always stinks out that house with her ugly perfume and she always needs everything to be perfect, so it makes me so annoyed. And you leave fur all over the furniture. Your recent Do It album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What is the next step for you two lovebirds? I'm going back to my cave. And I'm moving to Mexico. So, it's divorce. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish for your best future. Back to you in the studio. Now it's time for the far away land weather update with Jimmy. Who has the fairest weather of them all this week? 
Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spots and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be fee fi fo reason. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for the most of us. Back to the news desk. That's all for tonight. Although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview, he is hungry, angry and on the loose. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good night. Good night.